if she would like. Mention that you saw Wednesday's word this week and you will get 10% off the most amazing fudge you have ever tasted in your life. But welcome to Wednesday's word. And today we're going to talk about family. And also in the sermon, we're going to talk about family. Now in Hebrew, the word for a family that I want to talk about is mishpaha. And mishpaha is, is, encompasses family, clan, tribe. It means all of those who live within you, your immediate family, and also your relatives. So that's what we're going to talk about today. But did God have a bigger plan? When we think of mishpaha, when we think of family, we think of just ourselves, our own little family. But I believe God had a much larger plan for the family. And I also believe that he put all of us in our own families. Once again, you didn't choose who you were born to. You didn't choose your mom and dad, but who chose them? God chose your mom and your dad. And there's a scripture that I've always clung to, and it comes from Psalms 113, verse 9. And it says this, he makes the barren woman to keep house, to be a joyful mother of children. Hallelujah. Why is that special to me? Well, as many of you know, I have never married and have remained single. Well, I guess that's what that means. Remain single, meaning I have never married. But God has given me three children, all three children coming from different places when they were born. One child who came from Kazakhstan, two little, little children. One came from Cape Coral, the other from St. Pete, but both of those are biological sisters. That's another story. But God puts all of us together. He creates the family, but it's our choice within our family what to do with that, who to be, what is our role in that family, and why did God put us in the particular family that he did? It's a lot deeper than you and I can ever imagine. So this week, look around at your family. Look at who God has placed in your family and be grateful, but also look deeper that there is a much bigger picture than you and I can ever imagine. Celebrate this week your mishpacha. Shalom. God has set up the power of family since the beginning of time. And I want to show you how mom dad and child were all meant to be together. So every Hebrew letter has a number. The Hebrew word for father is of. And it has, it has, I'm going to write it in English. That is father. Father has a number three. The word in Hebrew for mother is M. They write it in English, E-M. Mother has a number 41. When you take the 41 and the three, you come up with the number 44. 44 is the number for Yelid. Yelid is the word for child. From the very beginning, coded in our Bible and coded in our DNA, the family was put together by God. 